Hello everybody, this is Wolfgang Von Latman from ChaliceofImmortality.com and today in this video I want to talk quite a lot about the best soap and hygiene products for skin health in general. Okay, please understand that it is absolutely important for you to never buy conventional hygiene products. Okay, especially shampoo and conditioner, which by the way, yes, I'm bald, okay? But I used to have a lot of hair, and my girlfriend has very, very strong uh, Mexican genetics. I mean, she's Mexican, 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 and I love that a lot. <laughs> um, she has a lot of hair, a lot of hair, okay? And it goes down to, to go down past her butt right now, her natural hair. Uh, and everyone always compliments on her beautiful hair. And her skin is great too now because I've helped her out with these tips. Um, so yeah, I, right, what does a bald guy know about shampoo and conditioner? Anyway, um, so yes, the best hygiene products. Don't ever buy conventional hygiene products. Okay, conventional mainstream hair products, absolute garbage, absolutely, okay? Unless you're super low on money, keep in mind the dollar hair products are almost the same as the six dollar hair products as far as conventional hair products you buy at the store, okay? The big name brands like, like Suave, Paul Mitchell, uh, what else? Um, Jeez, head and shoulders, you know, Dove, all that bullshit. I used to use that all the time. And it's cool if you want to use that. If you're using the dollar or two dollar version of that, that's fine. If you're spending six dollars on the professional salon quality shit, you're an idiot. All right? I'm not even going to beat around the bush. It's, it's an idiotic decision because you don't even know what the ingredients are inside there. You haven't read the ingredients, you haven't done research. You just assume like, oh, like my salon, my hairstylist recommends this, uh, or like, you know, I, my this girl with gray hair uses this, or it says on the bottle, green tea extract. Like, dude, you're falling victim to marketing. Crazy, but then again, it's common. Most people, 95% of our society do. So anyway, um, yeah, so here are some of the reasons why you shouldn't. So first of all, the main reason is that most acne is actually caused by the harsh chemicals, the, the harsh ingredients in conventional hair products, okay? I know, you're blown, like you don't believe it, right? You think I'm full of shit, right? Well, it's true. Most people have acne that's caused, that's caused by irritation and it's inflammation and irritation from the hair products they're using, from the conventional nonsense, the Paul Mitchell bullshit, the suave bullshit, the anti-dandruff bullshit, all right? The, the clinically recommended, doctor recommended crap. <laughs> you know, all these catchphrases, all this marketing, right? It, it's, it's, it's taking your money and it's fucking up your health. And now what do you do? You go to your doctor, you get Neutrogena or some shit, you get some, some acne cream, right? And a lot of times it does more harm than good or it doesn't quite clear up your acne. Well, guess why it doesn't clear up your acne? Because that's, you can't just put some cream on your skin if you haven't addressed the root cause, okay? The root cause is this, the, the cheap ingredients in this conventional bullshit, okay? Don't buy that crap. Buy seaweed shampoo and conditioner. Now there's probably many, a multitude of different products that are really, really great. But I'll tell you what I've been buying, and what my girlfriend's been using for, for the whole three years she's been with me. Um, and of course, I've, I've had clients and friends that I've recommended this to as well, who have started using this and they're like, holy shit, like this works, right? Um, use the seaweed shampoo and conditioner, okay? Um, because the seaweed is actually anti-inflammatory, so any kind of irritation on your skin uh, can be soothed from uh, the seaweed. And the second thing is that this from the seaweed company, Seaweed Co. is the one I use. There's absolute, and some some seaweed shampoos and conditioners might be, are probably different, but I use Seaweed Co. Seaweed Soap Co. or whatever. 
Uh, it's got absolutely no ingredients that are going to irritate your skin. Um, and I can tell you right now that all the girls and all the people with hair, you lucky bastards that have used this stuff, uh, have their hair, hair qualities improved drastically. The only problem is it's really expensive. It's about uh, anywhere from eight to ten dollars per bottle of shampoo and conditioner. But seriously, okay, would you rather spend ten dollars on shampoo and ten dollars on conditioner, um, or you know, and, and have clean skin and healthy hair? Or would you rather waste your money and your health, you know, f you know, two to five dollars at a time? on the bullshit conventional products that are only irritating your skin and causing tangles and, and thin hair and, and balding and whatnot. Do you want to end up like me? <laughs> Do you want to end up like me? Well, if you don't want to end up like me, stop using that conventional bullshit, right? The only difference between me and, the, and, and, you, and most people is that I don't have acne. Part of that is my diet, okay? Part of that is I remove the grains and whatnot because I used to have very bad psoriasis and acne for a long period of time. Um, and it got really bad when, well, first of all, I started adding a lot of these ancient grains and all this stuff because there's a big health craze around that. And it got bad. I had bad digestive problems and bad acne and bad psoriasis. Um, uh, I went vegan and it, and it got even worse because eating even more of these grains. Um, and then and this is actually a common issue on, on, on a lot of vegans, but not all of them, of course. I'm not dissing veganism. I think it can be healthy. Um, but the only soap that actually um, didn't make my psoriasis worse and seemed to have been helping was the seaweed soap. They're actually a bar soap, seaweed soap. The seaweed co soap was really, really good, but it, it, was, um, it was like, I think like $3 a bar, um, but it, it, it went by pretty quickly. It, it didn't last very long. That was really, really great. There's another seaweed soap that I use. Um, it's about $4 and it works amazing for acne. Um, and it didn't, and it actually soothed my psoriasis. But when I removed grains from my diet and uh, found the diet that is actually healthy for me, instead of listening to all this, um, all these, these experts and whatnot, uh, I removed the grains and removed the foods that was causing this in the first place, the psoriasis went away. However, I am a very, uh, it, like a consist, I, I'm an extreme athlete. Like every single day, I go to the gym. I'm sweating buckets, right? Um, if I don't wash my face with the right uh, soap, my skin breaks out. Every single time I switch to a, a different type of soap, depending on what type of soap it is, my skin starts breaking out again. Okay, um, and my girlfriend as well. She used to have horrible acne. Okay, horrible acne. Um, and she was using, you know, the suave hair products. Her hair was all thin and disgusting, and uh, she had bad acne. And she used, you know, the typical like dollar soap or whatever. When I switched her to the seaweed products, immediately her skin was better. Like she has no acne anymore, unless she serves her period or something. Um, and her hair is amazing. Okay. Um, and if you want to see what she looks like, go uh, on YouTube and look for Selena Rivers. Okay, she's started her little video logging channel. So proud of her. Uh, you can go and see her, her face and her hair. I'll try to have her do a review of, of her shampoo and conditioner and, and whatnot. Anyway, anyway, uh, so, even, so even after I, I healed my psoriasis through nutrition, um, my, I started to have acne, or I, I, I would still have acne problems, and all through my life I did. Uh, the only, but the only thing that seemed to remove my acne was, um, well, I, I had hair at first. I had a long ass blonde hair. You can see in my older videos from that time. It was uh, in early and mid 2015. Um, I would use a seaweed shampoo and conditioner, and seaweed soap on my face, and boom, no more acne. But anytime I switched, or I switched, uh, I get the acne again. Um, the other soap that really works great for acne is coconut oil soap. Okay, but the key is finding a, a real, true coconut soap. Okay, because a lot of these soaps, they they're made from um, extracts like sodium uh, cocoa mite or something, uh, and these are not actual, actually like coconut 
oil or, or whole coconut, okay? These are extracts of like fatty acids or cocoa, uh, coca ma ma maheic acid or some shit. These are extracts of the fatty acids from the coconut. You don't want those, those are cheap, okay? Because that's what most soaps are made from in the first place, it's just extracted uh, fat molecules um, rather rather than the actual coconut oil. Sap, sap, saponide, sap, saponated coconut oil, whatever. The brand that I really, really like is Kiss My Face, okay? I've used Kiss My Face coconut oil soap, and it works amazing. Um, I've also used Kiss My Face olive oil soap, olive soap. These two soaps right now, unless they change the ingredients at some time, which I hope they don't, are amazing, and they're so much cheaper, okay? You can get a three-pack of coconut soap for uh, like three to four dollars. And that comes out to about a dollar, dollar twenty-five per bar of soap. For the quality of the product, that's great. Okay. The problem with most people is they don't want to spend five dollars uh, every you know, a month on soap and and, sh and they don't want to spend twenty dollars a month on shampoo and conditioner. But they're you know suffering from acne problems. They're probably you know going to doctor visits constantly, and they tell everyone, "Oh, I tried everything," and you know. The, the Neutrogena seems to help a little bit, you know, the acne cream seems to work a little bit, you know, it seems to be helping. Like, listen, if you do the things I'm saying, it's not going to seem to work. It's going to work, <laughs> all right? Unless you have some severe digestive problem, which can result in skin problems and acne. Most people are too closed-minded to see this. Um, or you have hormonal issues, especially if you're on birth control, which is a whole other story. Most people, once again, are too close-minded to fix the problem uh, instead of actually getting off the birth control, you know, the cause of the problem. They want to keep uh, beating a dead horse. They want to keep um, trying the, to, to band-aid their skin with creams and shit. That's just really unhealthy for the body. Um, so is the birth control. <laughs> You know, or, or they want to keep eating pizza, or they want to keep eating, you know, rice and beans, which, by the way, cause me severe psoriasis and bad issues, especially digestive problems. Um, they want to keep eating these, these foods that are causing them problems, and then they want to think that they can just use skin creams and shit. You know, they want to keep, you know, spending $3 on some bullshit uh, hair products that are just horrible for their skin and their hair rather than buying some high quality shit that's actually worth your money. Okay, if you're buying conventional products and you're spending more than two dollars on conventional hair products, um, you know, you're wasting your money, straight up. Anyway, uh, there's one more remedy that's really, really great for pretty much any kind of topical uh, condition. Okay, whether that's skin condition, uh, teeth uh, or gum conditions, uh, if you have, like even, I used it on a staph infection, it worked really, really great. Um, and some people even uh, wash their hair with it. Witch hazel. Witch hazel, witch hazel, witch hazel, witch hazel. Everyone's heard of peroxide, but no one's heard of witch hazel. Fucking crazy. Witch hazel is like peroxide, but so much better, okay? and. You can find witch hazel in the pharmacy section right next to the peroxide or the rubbing alcohol. Uh, at least everywhere I've seen, okay, at the pharmacies, at, at Wal you know, Walmart, at my grocery stores. Now, you know, I don't, I don't know if many place, if every place has this, but you could buy it online on Amazon. Witch hazel is about $1.50 for a little bottle. It works wonders. It is an herbal extract. It's been in uh, Western Western medicine uh, for hundreds of years now, and um, it is an extract of, I believe, a willow tree. I'm not exactly sure, but I do know for sure that witch hazel is an amazing uh, remedy for skin issues and topical issues of all kinds. I've even used it as a mouth rinse. Okay, now what witch hazel does is it is antibacterial and it's also anti-inflammatory, okay? 
Now the problem with most face creams and, and soaps and all this is that it can, it can clean the skin or it's, it can be an antibacterial, which by the way, never use antibacterial soap on your skin, it'll kill you. It won't kill you, but it'll kill your skin. By definition, actually, it's a fact, it will kill your skin. <laughs> it's antibacterial, most of these uh, like skin creams and shit, but being antibacterial irritates the skin dries it out and causes inflammation. Witch hazel is antibacterial and it is anti-inflammatory. So it will soothe the skin and clean at the same time. And I've used witch hazel uh, when I didn't have like seaweed soap or coconut oil soap and it worked amazing. So, you know, I would def, and I, and I feel like it's something you should absolutely have around the house. Uh, you know, peroxide, sure, to use that, but witch hazel is way, way better. 100% witch hazel, witch hazel, witch hazel. It also is very, very good for fungal infections and whatnot. So if you have like athlete's foot or some kind of toe fungus, soak your feet in a, in a hot uh, bucket of water, a, a bucket of hot water and witch hazel. And it'll get rid of it if you do it every single night for about a week, it'll get rid of it. A uh, very, very powerful, very powerful. Okay, so you know, with 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 all of this in mind, in addition to getting your diet on track. Okay, come on, don't be stubborn. Seriously, if you care about your your skin, uh, the the beauty of your skin is a direct reflection of the health. The health of your skin is a direct reflection of the health on the inside of your body. Okay, you can't expect to have healthy skin and a nat and natural beauty if you're not treating your insides uh, well, okay? There's no way around it, okay? You can go and believe whatever you want. Eat healthy, okay? And, re and watch my videos on, on healthy eating because most people don't know what healthy eating is. They think, oh, I'm just gonna eat a balanced diet of um, you know, canned chili and uh, cheese and um, you know, a chocolate bar every now and then, and then also a salad from Wendy's all the time, and you know, rotisserie chickens here and there, and blah blah blah, and and healthy cuisine foods, and blah blah blah, healthy cuisine, uh, frozen di dinners, TV dinners, lean cuisine, Subway, right? They think that shit's healthy. <laughs> so most people don't know what healthy eating actually is. So re watch my videos on healthy eating uh, so that you can inform yourself. <laughs> and trust me, I'm probably the most unbiased person on healthy eating that you'll ever find. So, um, I hope that this has been informative and I know for sure that if you put all of these tips to use and into practice, you will experience, you know, uh, your, your acne goes away, your, your skin clears up, your hair uh, will be healthier, and you are much less likely to end up like me. Uh, by the way, this is male pattern baldness. This is supposedly genetic, although I, I often wonder if it has something to do with medications I was on as a child, or if um, uh, it was hormonal or something, or maybe I had diabetes for a long. Well, I did have diabetes for a, a while until I cured that shit. Anyway, leave your questions and comments down below. Let me know what you think. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have a lot of uh, random people running into this video um, who never heard of health, you know, who don't know anything about health or anything like that, I'd be happy to answer your questions and whatnot. I just hope that, you know, more people can open their minds to these things because it's, it's unconventional wisdom. Chalice of Immortality.com, Wolfgang von Lattman, talk to you soon.